In my video on how to improvise songs from prose, I showed you how you can use a process called improvisation to invent melodic phrases and sentences that you can use in writing your full song. In this segment, I'll show you how you can use that raw material you came up with during your improvisatory phase to write that song. Take a look at my improvisation first so that the rest of the things I say in this video will make sense to you. All I have is a moving picture of you On the surfaces I see faces None of them on this Lonely cloud that I see upon Where are you going? Home, I believe, I believe Fates to black and black to seize As seven oceans come to me Seven oceans come to me Frothing upon the ocean faces I can't follow where you go And these cards I hold are aces This house upon this spirit's build oh, Fall Waterfall, tears don't rise no more. Fall, waterfall, and tears don't rise no more. Fold up your sleeves and get down to work Finding the steel and the gold and the diamonds Fold up your sleeves and get down to business To bring me down to earth Oh, bring it down, bring it down Bring it down to earth no more Bring it down, bring it down To earth no more I see the skies fill up I see your heart fill up I see the world flooding down No heart, no heart, no I see the skies moving and the moving picture of you there isn't you oh, 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 oh. Um, wrap it all There were a range of ideas in that improvisation of which two attracted me the most they were both melodic sentences. The first one went, All I have is a moving picture of you. And the second, I see the skies moving and a moving picture of you. Now these ideas captivated me simply because of the sense of impermanence, the sense of transience, the sense of always coming close to something or somebody but never quite meeting them. This feeling of, um, and these feelings were the things that captivated me most in those melodic phrases. What I then did was to borrow a step from improvisation, which was to sing into the atmosphere created by these new melodic phrases and words from the improvisation to see what I might come up with as a start for the song. And these words came out. I see the skies filling up with a moving picture of you. 
And then I thought, what might be filling up the skies? And I and naturally you think about clouds and these words followed. I see the open cloud, hear the words coming out. And then I thought that's interesting. Now, what are these words that are coming out from the open cloud? Seven oceans bending light into a shape of you. And so you can see how the idea evolved, building from one sentence and then moving on into another and progressing that idea. Now, all you have to do is to follow that process and see where it takes you and you'll come up with the first draft of the song. Now, you would want to go back and refine that first draft like I did. For example, the sentence, Seven oceans bending light was changed to The water bends your light in my final version. So go ahead and tweak and make those changes. Now, there's something to say about the tune that I came up with during improvisation and the tune that ended up in the final version of the song. Obviously, they are both different, and this happens because different words need different tunes. They call up different melodies. All you have to do is again sing into the atmosphere of these new words and ideas that are floating about in your mind and pay particular attention to how the cadences and the rhythmic flow of the words in, that, in the sentences that you utter call up different melodies. Another thing you would have to zoom into is to pay attention to the melodic phrases that are similar to each other. Not exactly the same, but similar in the way they rise, fall, and come to a rest. By grouping these sentences together, you'd be able to come up with a chorus that would slightly differ from those that those are melodic phrases that would form the verse. Take a look, take another look at the song I came up with from the improvisation, and it'll be clear to you how you might intuitively approach creating verses and choruses. Now, there are plenty of videos out there that are already talking about the steps you can take to writing a verse, a chorus. They also explain to you what's the difference between a verse and a chorus. I'll leave you to look them up at your own time. But in order to create a song, you really don't need so much technical information because sometimes that kind of sequential information actually impedes your creative thought. All you need is to keep that improvisational spirit going on alive and stay loose and utter the first ideas that come to your mind and improve upon them by, like I said, paying attention to the way the melody rises, falls, comes to a rest. Pay attention to where the tune meets the cadences of the words and the rhythmic flow of the sequence of the words. That way, you'll come up with the song more easily than if you were to follow it. Well, step one, do this. Step two, do this. The jaggedness of that process is not going to work for songwriting. So enjoy your process. Uh, and enjoy the journey toward writing your song. Cheers. I see the skies filling up with a moving picture of you. I see an open cloud Hear the words coming out The water bends your light Into the narrow gate But I'm always a little early And always too late Nothing makes sense for long Everything changes Except those moments we meet Unexpected 
Where the water bends your light by the narrow gate. I'm always a little early and always too late. I tried to hold on, you tried to stay, but we both knew there was no way. Where the water bends your light upon the narrow gate, I'll always be early. And always too late.